Today, we will discuss Alias DMV Beefs, part 10. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all for the support. A lot has been going on in the district, so let's get into it. First, we will discuss the arrest of Twin Glock from 37th after he tried to spank a op, then drive off, but would get caught immediately. DC police arrest man who tried to drive away from Northeast shooting. A 20-year-old man is in police custody for his alleged involvement in a shooting in Northeast DC on Wednesday. At 11.47 a.m., police say the victim was in the 3900 block of Minnesota Avenue Northeast when he first interacted with the suspect. Investigators say the suspect in this case pulled out a gun and a fight broke out. During this, police say the suspect shot the victim and then drove away from the scene. Officers responded and recovered a gun on scene. The victim was taken to an area hospital for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries. Minutes later, officers encountered the suspect behind the wheel and attempted a traffic stop. The suspect refused to pull over and a police pursuit ensued. Investigators say the suspect's car came to a stop in the 1800 block of Bladensburg Road, NE, where officers detained the suspect without further incident. Due to the detective's investigation, 20-year-old Traquan McCallum of Northeast was arrested and charged with assault with a dangerous weapon, gun, fleeing from law enforcement officers, and carrying a pistol without a license. The next topic will be Baby Jamo, set to be released after beating his case. Baby Jamo was recently found not guilty on all of the gun charges and will be back by the summertime. This will be the second chance Jamo has gotten from law enforcement. Can he come home and take over the rap game again without becoming a statistic in this war? The next topic will be two murder suspects revealed. In an old video, I discussed the story of Jody Booth, brother tall, step getting cracked while trying to spin 640, and now new information has surfaced after 640, and Rock Creek would drop some new music. In a song released by Chopi on Six, he dices, Jody Booth saying how his brother got cracked. Then he went to the STU, and beside Chopion in the video is 640 member. I see, I see also, recently dropped some music dissing Jody Booth too, even after spanking his older brother. The next topic will be the Tall Crow story. Everyone in the streets knows by now that Young Foot Soldier is one of the main suspects for the murder of Tall Crow, but that may be wrong. After new information surfaces and the story of Tall Crow would be brought to my attention, allegedly. It all started when Lil Drop and Skino jumped a person from 800 Dipset named Lil Work and tried to catch him down bad after school and put him in a car to kidnap and I believe kill him. But about a week later or so later when it was movie day, Lil Work and few other 800 members got the drop on Lil Drop, Tall Crow, Two Active Crow and others. They were spotted at a 7-Eleven, then about five minutes later, Lil Work and other members came back and jumped out on them, sending multiple shots, leading to Lil Drop getting hit in the neck and Tall Crow getting shot in the head, leading him to be deceased on scene as the shooting was going on. Two active Crow hit back as he took cover. After firing several shots, Lil Work and other members got back in the car. Tall Crow passed and Lil Drop survived after getting hit in the neck. And I believe he was hit somewhere else, I'm just not sure. But his name is Lil Work and from the block of 800, known as Dipset have been beefing with Ab and Waller for years. But this situation had nothing to do with the beef. It all started with them jumping Lyle work. Allegedly. Last night, at a shooting at the 7-Eleven in Prince George's County, 15-year-old DeAndre Johnson died. Another 15-year-old boy was in critical condition. Now, two adults were also shot but are expected to survive. Now, the Prince George's County Police Department says at 8 p.m. Saturday, two people walked into the 7-Eleven in the 1400 block of Ritchie Road in Capitol Heights 
and open fire. Now there is a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Pamela Smith spoke to a packed room of faith leaders saying it's going to take the whole community to address the violence in the city. This has to stop. The violence that's happening in our communities need to stop. But it takes more than me to just say this. I need you guys to show up with me in this place. The meeting took place less than a half mile from where two men were shot and killed on Friday morning on Chesapeake Street Southeast. Surveillance video shows two men with long guns jumping out of a red SUV and shooting right in front of an elementary school. The shooting left two people dead, now identified as 56-year-old Charles Luster Jr. and 20-year-old Ty John Clayton. Police have not confirmed who was the target. My grandson was innocent and he's gone. He's gone. Dolores Clayton addressed the chief directly, talking about her grandson, Ty John. She said he was a graduate of Baloo and worked as a custodian at the Smithsonian. She says that he was walking back from a convenience store when the shots were fired. And use this young man as an example of goodness. In an emotional moment, the chief, Dolores, and about a dozen faith leaders came together to pray for Ty John. I got a hole in my heart that would never be refilled. Today, the acting chief confirmed that they have recovered the red SUV, although they're still looking for those four people. Reporting here in Southeast, I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9. And police are offering up to $50,000 to anyone with information on this shooting. Anyone who knows anything is asked to text their tip line at 50411. One of the main topics in the streets, even after a year has passed, is the bug and reek story. And allegedly, rumors would say that Skino is responsible for Bug and Reek, along with other members from The Eight, a new song released by a member from The Eight named Fat Motion. He says, Slug took a walk through the park, and Skeen took a walk through the three, and the death of Bug and Reek was allegedly one shooter walking through, a cut and spanking Bug and Reek while J.G. Wardy watched. In the song by Fat Motion, he also dices Young Foot affiliate Gen 5, and Gen 5 would respond to the diss. Yo, I just made my man J Keys, man. <laughs> yeah. I got a song about to drop this just called X Around the City. Hey, Jeff, what you got to say to them peoples, man? Free YFF. Yeah, if you turn on that shit, I'm riding out loud. Ain't no doubt. You alright, though, bro? You can ask around the city, I'm one of the ones. How the fuck is you beefing? You ain't got no fun. Got stay on my pivot, they out to come get you. You gon' run into me and be running from Drizz. I go up the eight fat motion, keep this. In the car with them youngers, try to top on my best. In the car with them youngers, try to top on my ass. Lil' buddy got Trey 5 7 with black. Try to spend where I'm at, leave them ties on flat. And that nigga try to run, why be shot up his back? And I'm wearing no full, I can't wait till he back. You can ask about five, I'll be robbing some rap. You can ask about five, I'll hit you with miss. Six twos in that Drizzy ain't fucking with piss. Why speaking on four, I can't wait till I meet. We'll go up the mill and just give him a beat. It's a lawyer ass drive, but that shit ain't about none. I'll be up in that car, I'll be ducking them thumbs. Think they building the kicks, so I'm ducking the jump. On that like curry, I got me a jump. Bitch heard that I rap, now she want me to fuck. Hang around with five, so I told him it's fuck. Need to free all the options, Jeff Fish, you can pluck. I'm an all time playmaker, need me a bucket. That's the end of this video. Thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. Like, comment, subscribe, more content coming soon.